don't need to worry. The world is turning to come to you. There's no reason to hurry. I don't know where you're running to. No, you don't need to worry. Hello, 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 hello. Hi. Hi. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, Meenal. Welcome, Akshat. Welcome, Chat. How are you all doing? Welcome to the live stream. We are in astrophysics part four. So, if yes. you haven't seen the early ones, go check it out. But today we are on part four. We are going to be talking about gravity. We are going to be talking about relativity and just basically dive into space, time, and all the good nerdy sciencey stuff. That's what we are here to do. Meenal Akshat, thank you so much for coming on. How are you guys? I'm good. Absolutely fine. Thanks for having us. Exactly. It's an absolute pleasure. Let me just quickly say hi to the chat. Let's see who all are here. Vaibhav, Kumar, Manas, Meteya, Rajwal, Shovan, Ankit. Welcome everyone. Just quickly confirm if I'm visible, I'm audible, everything looks good. Just give a thumbs up if you're excited about the stream and we can get going. Mm, hyped are you saying hello Ankit saying hello all right is it yeah yeah okay i'm just waiting for one thumbs up sign and then we can start yep there's a lot of thumbs yes. up all right a lot of thumbs up all right all perfect great great let us let's start let us go so Meenal, you have been with us for all the astrophysics streams in fact i think the idea of astrophysics started once so i think we had this conversation yeah. How has it changed so far? This so uh, you have been first of all, let's get this introductions done. What yeah. are you up to nowadays? Where are you now? Um I'm back in UK. I'm back for my studies. So university ka exams. I'm just here for my entire entire year now. All right. So you are an astrophysics student. Yep. Okay. And you are in yeah. the University of, uh, are we allowed to say your university? University of Sussex, yeah. <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> All right, brilliant. And so you're in the UK, you're an astrophysics student from the UK. And Akshat, welcome. Can you uh, tell hi, us a bit sir. about yourself? Thank you. Huh, sure. So right now, I'm a second year physics undergraduate. My major is in physics and my minor is in mathematics. And currently, I'm living in Jaipur. All right. So, and it was Meenal who told me about your live streams. So... Yeah. I'm thankful to both of you. I'm I'm so glad that you could join in. I actually so seen your. To be here. Sorry. It's an absolute honor to be here. Alright, dude, it's a pleasure, man. I've actually seen your Twitter threads on astrophysics, and I've been. Uh, uh, thank you. Yeah, so those are really good, uh, guys. Yeah, you should yeah. go check it out. Uh, I think it's star underscore stuff. Is it? Star stuff. Star, star stuff. underscore stuff. Star stuff. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Brilliant. So, what do you have for us today? So today we are going to talk about gravity. Mm -hmm. So it's the we know have like we have heard a lot about you know how it is the glue of the universe and it yeah. keeps everything together. So but basically we still don't know what it is and how we came to the conclusion as to what gravity is. So we are going back in time. Mm. And we so the like, story of more than 300 years of gravitation. So we are going to talk about the story of gravity. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Wow. Okay. So just as a recap, what uh, what all have we done so far? In Astrophysics uh, Part 1, we talked about... Uh, solar system. The solar system. We talked about how time itself is measured. We talked about... Uh, uh, we went... Yeah, we went up till the solar system. In Astrophysics Part 2, we did the galaxies. Galaxies. We talked about the different types of galaxies. In astrophysics part three, we went to the whole universe. We touched upon black uh, black holes, and we talked and about dark, dark matter. matter. Yep. Wow. All right. And now we have reached gravity and relativity. It's yep. been quite it's a journey. Covered. 
the entire thing. Yeah, it's like we are traveling through the universe with each stream, and the, really? our perspective is just expanding. Yeah, it's like we have our own uh, little Star Trek series going on over here. <laughs> uh, you could say that, yeah. And right. this journey is going to take us back in time, actually. Yeah. Okay. How is it going to do that? Uh, um. So. No spoilers. We... <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I'm just going to no give a small gist of what we're going to do. All right. So that people are prepared for what is to come. What we'll do is we'll go back in history mm-hmm. to the very beginning of the postulation of gravity ka, like, idea. We didn't even have the word gravity then. Mm-hmm. And we'll see in the first person perspective ki how they observed things and formulated what gravity is now. Mm-hmm. And with every single person, I understanding of the world just expands and we're just going to look at that with so we are happy aristotle aega there'll be einstein there'll be a lot of stuff on um, a conversation about space and time what exactly it is mm-hmm. and how it works how do we define it and then there's black holes again because there's a lot to cover in that as well and then we'll talk about quantum mechanics a little bit oh i love, like that. I love that i love that you're setting the stage for quantum yeah, yeah. shit what Quantum mechanics deserves its own speed. It yeah. needs other vast error. That is going to happen for sure. Yeah. Now, though, I know that. Uh, okay. All right, Chad. Are we up for this? Uh, Sauhardyo is saying gravity is the weakest force on Earth, out of uh, radioactivity and electromagnetic fields. Uh, Curious Nikhil is saying, please talk about quantum gravity. Justice for Newton. <laughs> 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 we will give him justice. We will. I mean, in fact, we need now at least at this time we need justice for Einstein. Ah, interesting. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Okay. okay. Cool. So, are we? Are you going to be sharing the screen as always? Yes. Brilliant. I have okay. A to I'm just going to draw up this. Uh, I'm just going to make your screen a little larger, and yeah, good to go. You can. Shall I pull it up? Yeah. It's ready. There you go. Perfect. Um, we are good to go. We are set. Uh, Mayank, camera OP. Thank you, Mayank. Thank you for appreciating it. <laughs> yeah, I feel the love. My, my DSLR <laughs> feels the love. It has not been easy, by the way. I had to import a dummy battery from the US, but okay. How long did it take for you? Ooh, to get... it, it took nearly like five months to get this DSLR set up <laughs> going. But that's oh. partly because I was an idiot. I got the wrong camera. I could have just, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a whole other discussion. <laughs> I wouldn't say anything about that. <laughs> but All worth right. it, um, guys, worth it, right? This is worth it. All right. It actually looks really good, the entire thing. Cheers. Cheers. All right. What, what are we looking at here? Mathematical principles of natural philosophy. Uh, so it's just the front page, gravity. Newton is very famously known for his law of gravitation. So I just put it to scale here. Yeah? We are going to go very back in time. Wow. Okay. All right. So now, what do we know about gravity? If you have written a song, uh, we need, we need. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've, I've seen that rap. It's yeah. absolutely amazing. <laughs> so, what do you think is, about gravity? What do we know about gravity? We know that mm-hmm. gravity is the attraction between two objects which have mass, mm-hmm. and uh, they could be of any size. And it depends on their mass and it depends on the distance between them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess everyone in the chat agrees with that. Yes. Thing. I think so far, yeah, chat, I think my knowledge level is the same as, same or lesser than your knowledge level as far as gravity is concerned. I'm sure you yeah. all know this much. All right. All right. So this is what we know about gravity. We're just going to forget about that. Oh. We don't know anything. Wait, what? We'll start over. Right <laughs> okay. from the start beginning. Over. What is this gravity thing? Uh, who knows? <laughs> All right. Uh, short answer is that we have no idea for now. Oh, exactly. really? Long, yeah. huh, exactly. We still don't know what gravity actually is, where is it coming from, and why does it exist in the first place? Exactly. Oh. So we still don't know what gravity is. Is Damn, right I now. should rewrite my poem. <laughs> All right. Okay. So Wait. what we have done over the years is oh. that we have come closer to truth. Yeah. Not just... at the right answer right now. We are just getting closer and closer every century, every millennia. Okay. Millennia is other. 
funding theory we need to have a definition so that we can research sure. it sure sure like you have to tell them something yeah <laughs> so this is the something that we tell but in reality we don't know wow. okay now we are as stumped as isaac newton not as isaac newton but as einstein i'm sure yeah. isaac newton died feeling pretty confident of what he had what he has discovered okay. right in fact he was unsatisfied oh he was what? Yeah, he was very much unsatisfied. <laughs> oh damn! And he's allowing the rest of us to rectify what he has studied, but he's like, I am not sure. Okay, I'm pretty sure he wouldn't have been happy with how we are dealing with his gravity right now. I lost, ah, I lost exactly. three marks in the NEET exam because of a gravity question because I couldn't. Oh damn! How traumatizing was losing those three marks that you still remember it? Yeah, and now, now you're telling me that even Newton would have got them wrong. Yes, heck? exactly. He had absolutely no idea what gravity actually was. Okay, I feel like we are dissing on Newton for no reason. It's <laughs> I don't yeah, want to start. A, I don't want to start the beef. He's the smartest thing. person of the story. Right. Yeah, he's the smartest dude in the story. All right. So when you say he didn't know anything, you're just putting the rest of us to an absolute like fuck off. All right. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> cool. 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 <laughs> All right. Got it. Now that we have All the right. context. All right. So now. Erase kind of vain say whatever part uh, of the uh, thing. Done, done. You're working. Remove the right notions about gravitation. All right. Yeah. Nobody knows anything, guys. Chat. None of you know anything about gravity. Okay. Bhool jao. We'll start from scratch. Ha. Okay. Okay. So now imagine that you're walking around uh, in a cow, purane zamane mein, hmm. and you observe trees there. Okay. Hawa se patte hil rahe. You just like. Hmm, hawa hai, patte hil rahe. Why is the hawa moving in the way it is moving? Huh. And you observe that for months, and you're just thinking, "Why is this happening?" You still don't know. You move on from that, and you go and look at the water. There is a rise and fall in the level of water during huh. certain parts of the month, and you just say, "Hey, what's going on? Why is this happening?" Hmm. And We know that this happens, but we still don't know why. So the question keeps on coming up with everything. Right. You look at the night sky, and the stars are moving, and you're like, "What is causing it to move? Why is it moving in the way it is again?" The right. same question all over again. You look at birds. You get jealous. <laughs> hey, why can't I fly? Every time I try to fly, I fall, and then I try to make other things fly, and they fall as well. <laughs> so you know. What's exactly? This is good? this is what was our ancestors were into. Like right. they made up stones, they pulled up everything, and they threw stones above. So yeah. what they observed that stone always is coming down. Like of why course. is it happening? Why are stones falling down? Why are things falling down? So basics. this has basics. Basics. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. This has been an open question for centuries. Right. Ah. Uh, Uh, one sec. I have I have a couple of things to quickly point out. One, <laughs> can I give a huge shout out to the quality of the presentation? <laughs> wow, <laughs> it's goes to Minal. Credit goes to Minal. Amazing Meenal. stuff. Also, uh, Minal, I think your mic needs fixing. There okay. Is, uh, so I'm not sure what it is. Yeah. But uh, there is a constant uh, crackling noise that is coming. So, All right. I'll just change my. Uh... Yeah, because I wanted to. Uh, is it better now? Yes, actually. Perfect. Yeah, let's just try it for two minutes. But yeah, I think this is much better. All right. So okay, now with birds, we are jealous. Can't yeah. deal with that jealousy, and sure. we are like, we need to figure it out. Yeah. Chal raha hai, and then. At some point, you just realize that there is, it. Everything seems to have a flow. Yeah. Okay, it is flowing in a certain direction. We still don't know what the cause of that flow is, and we postulate that there has to be some force that keeps the cosmos in harmony, uh, moving all objects, including the stars, winds, and waves. This is such a beautiful line. Keeps the cosmos in the harmony. Whose line is this? Uh. We'll find out. Wow! <laughs> so much suspense. All right. All right. So this statement was actually put together by a philosopher, mm-hmm. Her- Heraclitus. So he is 
के बीच में वो था वेरी फर्स्ट नोन फिलोसोफर वो टाइम का एंड वो टाइम पे एवरी वन यूज टू डू एवरी थिंग राइट Yeah. They had to take part in everything. That was the basic of survival for okay. them. It was the opposite of specialization. Everyone yeah. knew everything, right? So he uh, worked in a lot of areas, and astronomy was one of them. And he believed that after looking at this flow of everything, he believed that there is a flow of um, the a force that flows in the nature and that keeps everything together. Yeah, and. everything around us is ever changing the universe is constantly changing that was his idea and he said this line that i think is very famously used these days that a man never steps in the same river twice ah oh, yeah because the river is changing all the time the water is never the same exactly right so he started this entire inquiry and he was the first person that we know of as of now who has postulated this idea acche se ekdam ek book mein and his rival uh, parmenides i think that is how you say his name he was wo time pe ki everything is fixed jo hai wo hai and jo nahi hai it can never be this that was a like, simple this sounds like a line from chupke chupke <laughs> <laughs> something <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I'm pretty sure Amitabh Bachchan took that line from him <laughs> Maybe I haven't watched that movie You have so... it Oh man you should Jo hai wo nahi hai wo kaise ho sakta hai Oh wait that's a dialogue Oh yeah okay All right. sorry coming back okay. coming back okay. to ancient yeah. physics yeah So Parmenides he was like he sub constant and he said universe is static Hmm. So now we have two school of thoughts. One believes that universe is changing, and one believes that universe is static. And that was that thought went on for very long till Einstein got in. Wow! But yeah, so this is like the first glimpse into our understanding. Us, we're just starting to understand. Changing universe ka evidence, मतलब that come from changing night sky. Yeah. Hmm. So. Stars were moving like sun. Uh, sun rose every day. It sets every day. Moon rises. It sets. So night sky changes over a time to time. In fact, as Earth moves around the sun, our background of the night sky changes. Stars का pattern change होता है. So basically, change का evidence night sky से आ रहा है. Yeah. yeah, without because without that relative change, everything that is in front of us is sort of the same. Hmm. It's exactly. Hmm. so these two thoughts school of thoughts like philosophy may be they have created alag sa cheez hai and these two things started to recognize time as a a thing that is contributing to change in our lives and oh. something that we should measure okay so that right. got us to because change ho raha hai to change kab ho raha hai kitne time pe ho raha hai wo sab cheeze bhi they start like this This is exactly how Aristotle defined time. Yeah. It was the measurement of change. Yeah, if there just, is no change, there is no time. Exactly. I was just thinking that that the whole reason that time as a concept exists is because we accept that change as a concept exists. If nothing exactly. changes, then there is no such thing as time. Then there is no such. Ha, huh, exactly. If you are left out in space and there is nothing, absolute darkness. There are no stars, no galaxies, no planets. Correct. So you are just left thinking that nothing is changing yeah. and everything is just dormant. Correct. nothing is yeah. thing is evolving yeah so that was one of the ideas of the earliest ideas of the conception of time yeah and aristotle was just the like pioneers of this like pioneer yeah. of this idea and this yeah. is so brilliant because you know, when you say change we are on the one hand we are talking of actual change in the universe but on hmm. the other hand we are also talking of can you perceive that change exactly because exactly. for us time is perception of change if for us to register time passing we have to see something changing if if something isn't changing then time hasn't passed hmm exactly so yeah so like you're saying if you're in space and if you're suppose you have no body and uh, you are just observing and nothing is changing pretty soon you will lose track of time 
people lose yeah. track exactly. of time in prisons you know like this same... event that time has stopped will automatically come out of your mouth yeah exactly wow yeah. this is brilliant all right go on uh, okay. everybody who is watching please like the stream and uh, if you can think of some friend somewhere who would really enjoy a conversation like this do share the link quickly because to be very honest these kind of conversations don't happen a lot yeah go on yeah but abhi aage ja ke this conception of time will break down oh, completely damn. yeah completely really? completely so this is like the first evidence of considering time ka ek cheez hai hmm. now uh, heraclitus and then parmenides jo bhi hai wo these two guys they influenced plato a lot and then plato went on to influence the entire western philosophy yeah, aristotle well. and everyone yeah yeah, yeah. so they were like the first giants in ke shoulders pe everyone has been standing on right hmm. so now uh, yeah a little bit about him he uh, he is from the pre socratic philosophy wale time se hmm. and i guess i don't think it's not necessary information but okay now <laughs> this thing what is going know, on here now we have observed how our pani ho gaye the okay now yeah. we are starting to build things okay and we realize that to move things we have to apply some force right and that i mean how do we know ki kitna force apply karna hai how do we know that this thing has to move why is it not moving on itself hmm. and the entire concept of what life is also was defined wo time ke and then lifeless cheeze unka mass and unka movement and distance these hmm. things came into picture hmm. so the so, very motion and time were like they were blended together together in a way okay we, we were not able to describe motion without time because obviously jab koi cheez chalti hai when something moves hmm. we always see that with respect to something else we always measure motion with respect to something else there is no meaning of like yeah, yeah. pair karne ke liye kuch hai nahi to like how are we going to define motion of course exactly. if you are if something is moving it's moving either away or towards something hmm. and it is exactly. moving under backdrop in the backdrop of something exactly so for example if you see a if you see a a plane in the sky and nothing behind it is moving nothing in front or behind it is moving how do you know if the plane is moving or not exactly wow you yeah. just define galilean relativity yeah i i do that i just uh, off handedly just <laughs> define entire branches of physics sure <laughs> all right that's brilliant stuff okay <clears throat> Okay, so we come to a conclusion that heavy objects require more force to mm. make them move, mm. and objects pushed with greater force move faster. Right. And this brings us to uh, Aristotle' wala theory. Okay, mm. I'll get into that baad mein pehle. But Aristotle <laughs> ke time pe we didn't have periodic table, right? So our elements were earth, fire, water, right. and air. So these were the medieval ages, जब yeah. like when the era of demons, angels, spirits yes, and all of that existed, people thought that कि हाँ up was the direction of heaven and down was the direction of what do you mean people uh, thought? अभी भी है भाई it's twenty twenty one it's still the time of demons and angels I'm just <laughs> it was much more popular much more ऐसा बोल popular it was uh, it was mainstream it was yeah. mainstream it was mainstream I was gonna say that yeah. yeah. Oh and there God. was no understanding of natural world people ascribed their explanation to supernatural super uh, like intelligent extraterrestrial yeah. so this is the common human bias you know more about that than us yeah. so <laughs> okay so we come to this conclusion we are like theek hai but now how do we define kaun sa object heavy hai and wo kis direction mein move karta hai So then we divide them into elements. Hmm. There is earth, water, air, fire, and ether. Oh, ether is defined stuff. You don't know if it's wet or dry, and circular. Uh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what? This has always surprised me that we say ether, and nobody's really defined what ether is. We'll get to that. Oh, you'll get. Uh, oh we'll man, get to the that. amount of things you'll get to. <laughs> It's gonna be a fun conversation. Ether has it. Ether had it. So one like, its whole era was. Yeah. 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 
quite simple ether was considered to be some divine stuff they used to call it because they didn't know he what is that is governing all these elements together mm-hmm. so it's supposed to be something that is invisible mm-hmm. and holding everything together and that's why they just were like divine yeah. now this is where aristotle came in so this was aristotle ka pura uh wow. what an idea. entry man <laughs> I, i feel like it's aristotle like this wwf uh, music going on when aristotle enters the room that aristotle plato all these guys were like popular in their own days they, yeah, were, they were like rock stars uh, they yeah. were rock stars they were like einstein of their own time period yeah i mean all the hottest parties would be like aristotle in the house <laughs> exactly <laughs> <laughs> they will just spit some formulas out there oh my god <laughs> oh brilliant okay go on okay so aristotle is here and uh, again ye time pe sab log sab kar rahe the he thought that there is uh-huh. no effect or motion without a cause hmm. you cannot move anything without applying force to it right. and there was he derived a formula that is f is equal to mv hmm i I'm not able to connect my iPad. I otherwise I would have done like shown it to you. Mm-hmm. So basically, to pictureize it, orange hair. Um, its mass jitna jada hoga, utna force bhi lagega. Correct. Right. Jitna jada force lagariyo, utna speed se ho jayega. Correct. So now we have a relation that uh, force is directly proportional to velocity. Yeah. And force is directly proportional to the mass. Mass. Well. Correct. So we get F is equal to mv o square through. Hmm. He But, was just describing Newton का second law, but in a wrong way. Exactly. What do you mean in a wrong way? We will get to that when we come to Isaac Newton. Yup. Okay. <laughs> so यहाँ पे v is the speed, okay? In uh, Newton वाला the formula is different. It's oh, calculated. Oh, so okay. If I can remember correctly, the difference is there is a difference between speed and velocity. Uh. Like, Ah, uh, but technically there is a difference. Speed yeah. is basically a scalar quantity, and velocity. I mean, velocity has is, direction. Uh, velocity, yeah. velocity is just the speed that has a particular direction. Direction, correct. There's uh, a vector involved. Ah, uh, yeah. there is a vector. Involved. All right, cool. It itself is a vector. Ha, uh, correct. Oh man, twelfth standard physics all coming back. All right, cool. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So heavy, uh, heavy bodies are not attracted to the earth by an external force, but tend to move towards the center of the universe because of an inner gravitas or heaviness. Or heaviness. Right. Yeah. Right. So right. he observed that slopes से सब चीजें नीचे जाके रुक रही थी on the ground. So he was uh-huh. like, यहाँ पे there is something at the center जहाँ पे mm-hmm. everything is going. And yeah. this was the first glimpse of the idea that you know things the object is pulling things in. It's right. not that we are applying force on it. Right. You know, it's it's so fascinating that uh, a particular idea comes at a particular time. I mean, things have fallen forever. Hmm. But uh, I, I mean, I'm very curious as to why something comes up at a particular time. And that conversation with Biswa that day I, on my podcast, mm-hmm. uh, it it really put a lot of these things into perspective because he talked about how one particular. branch of physics or one particular branch of mathematics comes up at a particular time yeah you know why did mm. calculus come up at newton's time and not aristotle's time because there was no need for calculus at aristotle's time exactly 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 <laughs> quantum physics is now coming up because probably in the next 10 years there's a need for quantum physics and quantum mechanics and quantum calculation we need it even now like abhi communication ke liye ah, right. without quantum this would not be possible at all what would not be possible This, this live stream. This live stream is dependent on quantum. Yes, exactly. What the hell? Fact, the camera in your mobile phone is governed by quantum. Get yeah. the f- get out. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> yep. Seriously? Oh man. Okay, I have to do a stream on quantum just to understand. That my touch screen, camera. that touch screen, wala feature on your phone that also works on quantum mechanics. In fact. The world's two-third GDP of IT industry is governed by quantum. Is mechanics. quantum sir? Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> When did this happen? I thought oh, quantum. I thought quantum computing is like this thing in the future. कि कभी ना कभी तो हम लोग करेंगे. Quantum computing तो like अभी अभी आई है. Hmm. Okay. Like in big uh, frames we are using. Quantum में problem आता है heat का. हाँ. Huh. 
लाइक बहुत हीट जनरेट होती है हाउ डू वी कूल इट ऑफ दैट्स वाई कंप्यूटर्स बाद में आई वी स्टार्टेड यूजिंग इट इन स्मॉल स्मॉल डिवाइसेस पहले यू आर टॉकिंग ऑफ लाइक सिलिकॉन चिप्स एंड स्टफ अह नॉट जस्ट चिप्स इवन विद लाइक फॉर्मूलेशन ऑफ स्टफ अह अभी हम लोग जो फोटोज वगैरह भेजते हैं डेटा टेलीपोर्टेशन टाइप ही है ना टेक्स्ट वगैरह राइट सो हाउ डू वी डू दैट इट स्टार्ट्स विद अपना पहले इलेक्ट्रोडायनामिक्स आता है देन क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स वो सब बट हाउ इज क्वांटम आई थॉट क्वांटम इज क्यूबिट्स एंड वी आर डीलिंग विद बिट्स क्यूबिट्स आर बेसिकली दोस टाइनी बिट्स ऑफ क्वांटम कंप्यूटिंग यस एंड क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स इज the physics of physics small world oh tiny world that is okay, around okay, us okay okay i think i get the difference a little so bit quantum right. quantum computing emerged from the mathematics and physics of quantum mechanics yeah. later when Got we it. came to part of 20th century then finally we extracted quantum technology from that okay okay from i think the principles get... of physics yeah, yeah 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 okay i think i think i got the difference i am going to wait for the quantum stream to really understand it in fact that laser also works on quantum mechanics what yeah. laser jo ab log ppt mein ghumate hai wo wala laser yes yep. that laser exactly that laser. hi matlab we can all say that we are using quant uh, that's what volti just said uh, i use quantum devices every day i'll start ah, saying exactly. that from now on <laughs> स्टार्स वोंट वर्क बिकॉज़ ऑफ क्वांटम लाइक स्टार्स जो है वो बिल्कुल नहीं होते अगर क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स नहीं होती तो या सो सो एवरीथिंग हैज इट्स क्वांटम बेसिक्स वी आर जस्ट ट्राइंग टू बिल्ड अप ना स्टफ ऑन सो व्हाट्स व्हाट्स रियली कूल अबाउट फिजिक्स इज दैट वन डे यू डोंट इवन नो दैट दिस एंटायर ब्रांच एग्जिस्ट्स एंड द नेक्स्ट डे यू रियलाइज दैट द होल यूनिवर्स कैन नॉट एग्जिस्ट विदाउट दिस ब्रांच दिस इज एग्जैक्टली व्हाट हैपेंड इन दिस स्टोरी <laughs> like what the hell dude <laughs> all right cool go on go on go on all right um so we were at aristotle hmm. um okay now we go to archimedes now right. for him we'll have to have some liquid now okay. <laughs> i'm not going to do an cheers all right where we want drink water ha huh. so right. now the basic thing is now we have discussed the direction of uh, motion of objects falling and kahan pe mostly jaate hain based upon their nature yeah but wo kitne speed se jaate hain now we start calculating that ah. now we have initial and final speeds yeah, in yeah. our picture now yeah and so archimedes his story you have you heard about the butter wala yes eureka eureka, eureka. eureka. yeah So the I'll just repeat the story as a for people who don't sure. know that. सब को पता है. बोल तू बोल. सब को. Okay. So there is a king. उसका crown है. It's made of gold, and he wants to know कि actually pure pure gold है, or is there some silver added into it? हाँ. Uh-huh. And he gives Archimedes uh, the crown, and he's like, "Bata without destroying the crown." हाँ. Uh-huh. So, the you could tell the purity of stuff by melting it, but now you can't melt it. Correct. You're like, hmm, how do I do it? वो ऐसे सोचते सोचते बैठ गया बाथटब में, and then he realized when he sat down that the water rose up. Yeah. And then he started realizing that the mass is causing the water to di- displace, and that is how the entire eureka thing happened. We discovered the buoyancy वाला factor, yeah, which ships use now, and so. what happened was it was a very small thing that uh, you can use water to understand the mass or the volume hmm. of the elements that you have in hand correct so we started with archimedes ka ye principle that buoyancy hai and then slowly it went on to gravity because now pani mein bhi things are going down but the thing what was happening was पीपल यूज टू से सब जो हैवी चीज है वो सबसे पहले गिरेगा हाँ. जो हल्क, uh, हल्का है वो सबसे लास्ट में गिरेगा एंड हल्का वाज ऑलवेज स्मॉल थिंग्स हैवी वाज ऑलवेज द बिग थिंग्स दिस आइडिया फर्स्ट इमर्ज फ्रॉम एरिस्टोटल ओनली लाइक एरिस्टोटल से स्टार्ट हुआ कि हां ऑब्वियसली बिकॉज़ एट दैट टाइम द प्रॉपर साइंटिफिक मेथड टू चेक थिंग्स वाज नॉट डेवलप्ड सो नोबडी रियली चेक कि हां ये स्टेटमेंट सही है या नहीं हां मतलब एक्चुअली जो ऑबवियस साउंडिंग स्टेटमेंट्स थे वो छोड़ दे हां एग्जैक्टली नोबडी रियली चेकड कि इफ द स्टेटमेंट वाज ट्रू और नॉट 
लिया and 100 pounds ka patthar us pe rakh diya okay ek vessel mein dala usne and the patthar was floating but a small piece of gold he put in and it sank down mm-hmm. and he was like wait what ek minute kya hua scam hai <laughs> kuch to scam hai <laughs> exactly so he just left it and he he just made he made a statement in his book that it's not uh, wait it's there yeah Yeah, gravity is not dependent on a substance weight, but rather on its nature. Mm. So then we started realizing that weight he he नहीं है. There is a lot of stuff that is adding on to the right. all of stuff. Mm. And then we have John Philopinus. Now he is not very well known. Yeah. मैंने भी पहले नहीं सुना था. मुझे तो मीनल ने बताया. Yeah. So he's the guy who started the entire conversation on projectile motion. Now we know oh. things go up and down, but yeah. then things go. We when we used to throw things, it would fly for a minute, and it felt like it was defying gravity. Mm. And we were like, "Oh my God, we are gods. We are, we can you know defy gravity, all of these." So he had that conversation, and he made a statement that uh, continuation of motion. Mm. Yep, depends on continued action of a force by incorporating a causative force which diminishes over time. Yeah, how the time actually came into picture for formulas and stuff. Up till if mass or speedy tha. Equations में धीरे-धीरे time का factor was coming up. हाँ, एक बात बता. वो time पे जो भी theory ये रही है, वो लोग सब ऐसी text में लिखते थे कि वो लोग number में भी डालते थे. नहीं, they नंबर में डालते थे टाइम था यार मतलब तुमको सिर्फ लिखना है लिख के छोड़ देने का या आई मीन दे वुड लाइक गिव ईच एक्शन सम यू नो एक्स वाई वगैरह बट ज्यादा एलिमेंट्स नहीं थे वो इक्वेशन लाइक जो ऑबवियस था जो उनको इंटूइटिव लगता था कि हां ये तो ऑब्वियसली होता ही है दे गिव दैट दे ट्राई टू गिव इट अ मैथमेटिकल लैंग्वेज राइट और उससे एस्टैब्लिश हो जाता था कि हां दिस इज ऑबवियस ऑबवियसली एक और एलिमेंट आ गया सो इट्स लाइक ओके I I I like this analogy a lot. It's like a play. This may we know the different actors. We are building different characters. We right. still don't know what the stage is made of, what the stage is, but we are starting to introduce characters in our story yeah. and trying to uh, make a story out of them. Yeah. And it's it's just very nice to look so at all of that. Force came in, mass came in, velocity came in, and now time came in. Yep. Hmm. Okay. Exactly. Oh, Brahma Gupta. This is so. <laughs> So I am pretty skeptical that Brahma Gupta was the first one who came up with zero. I am not sure about this, but okay. evidence points towards that. And Aryabhatta that got this zero from him, and that's why we credit oh. Arya. I'm not sure about this, but evidence point points towards that. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. So Brahma Gupta. So all these people that I have mentioned, right? They had the same world that we were living in, same observations. So I'm just mentioning the people. who were also around there at that time and they had their explanation of these things in their own culture alag alag isme so he described gravity as an attractive force using the term gurutvakarsh vakarshanam Guru to describe it okay yep to describe it within a heliocentric view of the solar system as defined by aryabhatta so aryabhatta came first um aryabhatta They were around the same time. Same time. The same time. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Not too far apart. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, not too far. Apart. Okay. So heliocentric view, वो सब जो चीज़ है, it it had started to come up अभी. Got it. Got it. 
हम लोग सेंटर नहीं है यूनिवर्स का वी विल लाइक देयर इज नो स्पेशल प्लेस फॉर अस इन द यूनिवर्स वी आर जस्ट लाइक लिविंग इन अ कॉर्नर राइट सो दिस इज अराउंड द सन इन व्हाट 380 व्हाट वाज इट व्हाट वाज द लास्ट स्लाइड आई वाज या 65 टू 680 एंड देन वाज कॉपरनिकस कॉपरनिकस वाज 1560s एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट या या 1560s तो बाद में आया इट्स लाइक ग्रेविटी का स्टोरी बहुत सालों से चल रहा है भाई लेकिन एक बात बता हजार साल पहले इंडिया में बोल दिया था कि हीलियोसेंट्रिक है हम लोग सेंटर नहीं है एंड ऑल दैट पीपल वुड से दैट हां ये हर जगह हर जगह हुआ था नॉट जस्ट इंडिया हर जगह हुआ था इनफैक्ट देयर वाज दिस गाय अरिस्टोटल्स हां ही वाज आई गेस द वेरी फर्स्ट ड्यूड हु केम अप विद द हीलियोसेंट्रिक मॉडल यूजिंग एक्लिप्सिस का डायग्राम ओ but he is not given much credit kyunki us time pe obviously aisa lagta tha ki ha we are the center of the known universe obviously jab night sky ki taraf log dekhte the to it seemed obvious ki yeah, sun is going around us stars are going around us moon is going around us so and things are falling start, towards us haan, things are falling towards us so obviously we are at the center of the universe this was also adopted this doctrine was also adopted by astrology hmm. yeah so us time pe astrology parted its own way Okay. And Aristarchus did not have enough confidence and evidence to support his own view of heliocentric universe. Oh. Yeah. So that's why Aristarchus didn't have enough confidence and evidence to support his own view of heliocentric universe. Oh. Yeah. So that's why Aristarchus didn't have enough confidence and evidence to support his own view of heliocentric universe. Oh. Yeah. So that's why Aristarchus didn't have enough confidence and evidence to support his own view of heliocentric universe. Oh. Yeah. So that's why Aristarchus didn't have enough confidence and evidence to support his own view of heliocentric universe. Oh. Yeah. So that's why Aristarchus didn't have enough confidence and evidence to support his own view of heliocentric universe. Oh. Yeah. So that's why Aristarchus didn't have enough confidence and evidence to support his own view of heliocentric universe. Oh. Yeah. So that's why Aristarchus didn't have enough confidence and evidence to support his own view of heliocentric universe. Oh. Yeah. So that's why Aristarchus didn't have enough confidence and evidence to support his own view of heliocentric universe. Oh. Yeah. So that's why Aristarchus didn't have enough confidence and evidence to support his own view of heliocentric universe. Oh. Yeah. So that's why Aristarchus didn't have enough confidence and evidence to support his own view of heliocentric universe. Oh. Yeah. So that's why Aristarchus Interesting. It's also so, interesting how probably the person who thought that hey maybe we are not the center of the universe could be could have been stoned. Yeah. And that's when he got the idea, and because he got the idea, he was stoned. There is a joke in there somewhere. I'll think about it. <laughs> there was this dude. I get uh, that. Yeah. <laughs> this dude, uh, it, who lived in like thirteenth or fourteenth century, I'm not sure. Yeah. His name was Giuliano Bruno. Okay. So he was the guy who thought ki this is before the heliocentric model of Copernicus. This is way before that. Hmm. So Giordano Bruno thought that ki our sun is just a star and those little tiny dots in the night sky they are also stars and they also have their own planets. Uh... And on those planets there are people there there is life on them. And when he like this was after the works of Aristotle. So when he published his own ideas, he published his own books. They were burned, and in fact, was, uh, uh, Giordano Bruno himself was burned at stake. Oh yeah. damn! Say, They called him insane, and बहुत सारा चोच और उसका ड्रामा हुआ. It was a lot of uh, stuff. Exactly. He was he was not exactly a scientist, but he was a philosopher in that yeah. era. I mean, yeah. and yeah, he was you, right. If you can really think out of the box and uh, create all these really Out of the way theories. Uh, I mean, today it will be known as science fiction. Hmm. Yeah. But probably at that time there was no concept of science fiction. Ah, huh, because like Giordano like Bruno's like time. Yeah. Ah, huh, Isaac Asimov. In fact, Giordano Bruno's time, there was like two doctrines, two main doctrines that governed the world. One was the Catholic Church, hmm. and second one was Aristotle's idea. They both were connected. Okay. So, yeah. why would someone believe a hermit? Get it. Wow. Okay. So it's like idea or timing का बहुत मिलना जरूरी है. Exactly. Have an idea at a wrong time you're. You're done. You know के पास कोई एवी जस्ट भी नहीं था. Exactly. So around the same time, like 11th century, Ibn Sina. I think a lot of people who have done literature know about this guy. Hmm. And my friend calls him Badong Kadong or something. <laughs> Why? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> he, he just uh, everyone loves his, him for his literature mm-hmm. but this is like the golden age of islam ah uh, this was, was like at, islam was it was at its peak yeah the whole babylon uh, um, yeah this was babylon ke bahut baad mein okay babylon yeah. or greeks yeah. bahut zyada pehle the they were like they worked on tablets not matlab stone ka tablets of course <laughs> <laughs> yeah so जब गोल्डन एज गोल्डन एज ऑफ इस्लाम लास्टेड हाउ मेनी इयर्स 300 और 400 इयर्स आई गेस एंड दे लाइक बिल्ड एवरी दिस दैट वाज द सेंटर ऑफ इंटेलेक्चुअल या स्क्रूटनी इन द वर्ल्ड वो हब था अपना जैसे बेंगलोर आईटी एग्जैक्टली एग्जैक्टली दैट वाज द सेंटर ऑफ इंटेलेक्चुअल और एंपावरमेंट 
Yeah, like it was they... also where everybody would join it. Like this was Jerusalem exactly. that day. That. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What was so... that university called? Uh, they had this very famous university there somewhere Israel. Ah, uh, there they had a library. They had yeah, a library. Yeah, yeah, they had this very famous library which was considered as you know one of the world's best. Okay. Anyway. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember the name. Yeah, continue. But... So this was somewhere in Baghdad, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, yes. Baghdad. Yeah, that. Baghdad me wa tha. Golden age of Islam was peak there. Baghdad. Yeah, correct. Correct. Yeah, I think someone in chat might know. We'll see. Uh, Alexandria. Yeah. Alexandria, Egypt me tha sir. Yeah, not Alexandria. There was some. Ah, that was that was something. I think ah. in Baghdad only. Ha, ah, Baghdad me tha. Wasn't uh, like wasn't Aladdin also based in Baghdad? हाँ, I guess so. I, Egypt का नहीं था वो. नहीं नहीं भाई, Egypt तो नहीं था यार. No, वो बहुत. नहीं नहीं नहीं. Aladdin was I think in Baghdad. हाँ, okay. Okay. Thompson de Cruz, thank you for the super chat. Aristotle was also the first to talk about genetics. Really? हाँ, genetics सच्ची. Interesting. Wow. Genius. I mean, as far as I know, the one who really did work on genetics was Mendel. Yeah. I don't know about Aristotle <laughs> so much, but yeah. I think uh, every person, what time pe they contributed to some or the other idea because they yeah. were observing stuff, right? Yeah, correct. So, <clears throat> anyway, he also had an idea as to like what mm-hmm. gravity is. He also put it together in the means of projectile motion, mm-hmm. and he actually took the maths and. Defined what is an inertial speed and final speed when you put the projectile motion in picture. Wow! And his work influenced Galileo ka work a lot. Mm. Mm. So he was one of the main influences after whatever happened. Iske baad jo bhi hai. Right, right. So now we're gonna take a break from these people and mm. we're gonna learn. Iske baad gravity the word was properly defined, and we're gonna look at how it was defined. And I love etymology. Because you kind of get an understanding as to like the whole word ka history as well. Okay. So in old English. Actually, going into the word. Mm-hmm. All right. Abi, Abi, Abi legends. I enjoy actually. I love it. All right. Yeah. So old English me, it was called grafan because hmm. grave. Grave was supposed to mean heavy. Wo time pe. Hmm. And old Slavic me, it was pograti. That is to bury and. To bury it, how because again the heaviness was um, related with the entire motion of objects, right? And their mass, and we observed it that way. So we used to give them us ke saap ke naam. Sanskrit me there was guru, which meant wow, it was like heavy or very important. Venerable. Wo wale, right. Yeah. Greek me it was Paris, which meant heavy again and curious, and then it all went to Latin, me gravitas, gravitas. which meant yeah. weight, or gravis, which meant heavy, and then we came to English, and then we have gravity. Damn! So this whole word comes from the idea of things getting weighed down. Yeah, Whoa. it's something that is pulling us, right. and something which is also important. So yeah. kind of put it together. Yeah, and we have the word gravity now. Even the word baris or barus, uh, probably that's where the word baritone comes from. A heavy yeah. voice or a heavy tone. It does. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Cool. Uh, so now we have the current um uh, definition: a natural yeah. phenomena by which all things with mass or energy are brought towards one another. That is how we define gravity for now. Now, in this definition, you have to put a lot more stress on mass and energy. Energy. Okay. Wait. So, is by which all things with mass or energy or energy are brought towards one another? Or. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's an important or. Okay. Yes. So that even if there are two things with or. without mass, are they also affected by gravity? To, uh, what? Uh, what? <laughs> so gravity, cause there is like okay, I attend. Ah, just he's talking about in. I uh, mean, he's talking in the context of energy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So as we come to Einstein's description of 
universe you will get to see ki ha mass and energy are one and the same thing in fact right so uh, yeah light and, is and energy exactly i was just thinking is... of black holes and light so light is affected ah. by gravity right of course yeah ha ah, so light can create gravity hmm. in fact you can create a black hole by pure just, light yeah exactly this special light by pure will light it will collapse ha ah. oh my god a black hole made out of only pure light Like squeeze that light ka ball into. <laughs> very, okay, like, you're giving like, me Dragon Ball, ball Z vibes. Like, what is going on here? <laughs> what do you mean squeeze that ball of light into what? <laughs> See, the entire idea of science fiction me, वो जो light वगैरह use करते it also came from this uh, uh-huh. understanding of what light. What the hell, dude? <laughs> so a black hole. It has a. It has a pure like. Uh, it has an official name. It has an official name that a black hole formed from pure light is Google Blitz. Sorry, what? What's it called? Google Blitz. Google Blitz. Yes, Google Blitz. Man, you are a ball of light. You are a Google Blitz. What a compliment! <laughs> Insane. Oh man, <laughs> you draw me towards you like you are a Google Blitz. <laughs> you writing a song, Abhi? <laughs> Guys, I mean. If that pickup line doesn't work, I I mean I don't know what will. So light is pure energy, right? So energy and mass are very deep. They are like two sides of the same coin. Yeah. Ah. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Just like space and time, just like electricity and magnetism, they are just like mass and energy. Wow. Okay. So like, is me pura Higgs boson wala conversation bhi aata with fields and how it yeah. affects mass. I will get to that baad mein. प्रोजेक्टाइल मोशन We. I wanted to add the gif of this someone falling and going we. <laughs> But okay, so Nicole, I don't know how to say the name. We are just gonna say Nicole. Okay, Nicole. A lovely okay. friend Nicole mm-hmm. came up with the uh, Suvat formulas that we have studied in twelfth. Okay. Okay. Now, हम लोगों ने we have started to realize the relationship between mass. um force and distance mm. and speed and time as well but now we kind of trying to put it in more complex situations jahan pe hame velocity pata hai mm. but abhi final pata hai initial kya hai so to yeah. build that up we just started deriving uh, the suvat equations that we use now and this is the beginning of newton wala era mm. where this a lot of this work has again influenced these guys because this is the foundation of it right so this is the suvat formula so and i want when you say suvat won't... you mean this s is equal to uh, oh yeah yeah s u v a t s u v a t so speed s- speed i mean we can define speed by an object changing a posi- its position with respect to time yeah ha huh. it begins to change its position yeah so in this equation for those who don't know it's like v is the final velocity right u is the initial velocity ah. a is the acceleration abhi acceleration ab tak aa gaya picture mein because we Got started to mm-hmm. count final and initial speed yeah but acceleration se agli story chalu hoti hai like acceleration pe hi rukta hai yahan pe so ab uh, as we stated ki ha Uh, position ka derivative with respect to time was speed yeah. speed ka derivative was like uh, sorry velocity ka derivative was like acceleration yeah so now we have acceleration ka derivative that is momentum that is jerk what yeah jerk momentum kya hai fir momentum to that is the total amount of motion in a body movement like mass oh. into velocity yeah i thought rate of change of acceleration was momentum it was it is jerk it is jerk ye kab change hua yaar ये तो पक्का मोमेंटम था मेरे ट्वेल्थ में ठीक है छोड़ो सो लाइक जर्क के बाद भी स्टार्ट होता है लाइक जर्क के बाद आता है फिर क्रैकल फिर पॉप 
फिर लॉक एंड ड्रॉप यू आर जस्ट मेकिंग वर्ड्स अप क्या है ये दिस इज लाइक सम किड गोइंग टू सम कैंडी स्टोर एंड सेइंग मुझे जर्क देना पॉप देना क्रैकल देना क्या है सब फिजिक्स टर्म्स है क्या हां यस एग्जैक्टली वी आर रनिंग आउट ऑफ वर्ड्स सो यू नो इट इज मेकिंग साउंड्स नाउ एट लीस्ट द अर्लियर वर्ड्स हैड ग्रेविटास जर्क इज व्हेन यू एक्सपीरियंस लाइक अब जर्क को थोड़ा डिस्क्राइब करना हार्ड है बट व्हेन यू स्टॉप योर कार सडनली देन यू एक्सपीरियंस अ जर्क राइट दैट इज अ जर्क योर एक्सेलरेशन इटसेल्फ चेंजेस हां करेक्ट योर एक्सेलरेशन इटसेल्फ चेंजेस अब इसके आगे थोड़ी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड इक्वेशंस आ जाती हैं लाइक एवरी डेफिनेशन हैज इट्स ओन इक्वेशंस चेंजिंग विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टाइम एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट राइट 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 सो सो व्हाटएवर यू वांट यू जस्ट पुट dx by dt ऑफ दैट थिंग एंड देन यू गेट द नेक्स्ट थिंग या basically it just breaks down into yeah uh, the rate policy. of change of yeah until you're left with chocolates or dance Ch- moves as something chocolate yeah oh <laughs> uh, i was thinking of dance moves yeah okay so um now <laughs> oh my god he's not over it this is just <laughs> all right cool 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 i'm over it i'm over it continue okay so we have these relations between all the elements that we have had of yeah. that but then there was always one thing that was missing that was ye sab motion hai hmm. but how is this motion being executed hmm. what is leading to it and like how do we create apna khud ka motion as say hmm. like technology wise and that is where uh, da vinci came in hmm. and he said uh, that he brought in energy in the picture so he didn't really make proper mathematics of it hmm. but he Because mentioned that da vinci ke time pe energy was not formally defined oh yeah it was not even defined at the time of isaac newton that would take another 100 200 years to formally define what energy is and how it works so energy as a concept did not exist at that time ha huh. mm-hmm. exactly but people were already using uh i mean fire and steam and all that yeah, uh, that <laughs> that happened but the oh but then the concept the, of it yeah got it got it exactly that was not formally defined ki energy actually interplay kaise karti hai hamare physics and recreate kaise kar sakte hain yeah. hum exactly with our own technology that is super interesting that we are actually using we are actually using branches of physics that we don't know yet hmm. yeah hmm. okay got it continue <laughs> So there's Da Vinci, and then comes Copernicus. Ah, there you go. Poor, Copernicus. poor bugger. Uh, <laughs> so Akshar, I think you should take from here. Ah, like, uh, sure. So Copernicus, uh, Nicholas Copernicus, he was a Polish astronomer, tha, uh, and he lived in like 16th century. Yeah. Right. So, is ne kya kiya ki he came up with the heliocentric model of the universe. Ha. Huh. Mala he's one of the guys. Abi apna Arya Bhatt yeah. ne to pehle hi bol diya tha. <laughs> he was he, even Aristarchus ne bhi bol diya tha he huh. was that guy who had like authority who had power ha huh. to say this boldly ha huh. so he said ki ha sun is at the center of the universe and everything else is going around the sun like including all the planets and earth is not at the center it is just a planet going around the sun right so at this moment we at that time around the time of copernicus we had mercury venus earth Mars, Mars, Jupiter and Saturn. Hmm. Bas, itne hi planets the us time. Okay. So he published a book on the revolution of heavenly spheres, Copernicus. Oh. The abhi to like it is kept in a museum uh, about one million dollar ka worth. I don't know how much. So he was the guy who published this work and popularized that the sun is at the center of the universe. Then after that, there was this dude named Galileo. he support he came into the game and changed everything so galileo was the not exactly the first one to invent a telescope but he was the first one to point the telescope towards the sky yeah we we spoke about this even in our first stream and uh, i found that very surprising that whoever owned a telescope before that what were they, ah, was, they were just pointing at each other or what it was a local <laughs> lens maker leperche who invented the telescope yeah. using ha uh, Yeah. He started with glasses, wala, right? And then he Haan. went on to look at water. Wahan Haan. pe, uh, water, apna subatomic particles, wala. Microscope, ban gaya wo. yeah. Yeah. Ah, exactly. 
राइट एंड नोबडी थॉट कि इसको ऊपर भी कर देते हैं एंड तब भी माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स वाला भी आया एक्चुअली हां आफ्टर पॉइंटिंग आउट वाटर के या सो हां मतलब टेलीस्कोप और माइक्रोस्कोप वर लाइक इन्वेंटेड इन इन द स्पैन ऑफ 10 इयर्स हम्म हम्म ऑफ कोर्स लाइक यू जस्ट या यू जस्ट सी बेटर आई मीन दैट वाज वन दैट टेक्स यू टू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ वेरी लार्ज एंड द अदर वन टेक्स यू टू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ वेरी स्मॉल आई लाइक द टू डिफरेंट रीजन टू डिफरेंट रीजन्स इट्स लाइक एन आई ग्लास that then we are like right in the middle as a filter ah, yeah exactly we we like, think that this is the normal size but there is no normal size it's just a spectrum it's just ah, that we happen to be here that depends on perspective only yeah exactly exactly uh so <laughs> meenal one of your fans meenu krishnan has just sent a super chat saying that meenal just puts you in like a trance i feel like i can just sit and listen to her talking about astrophysics all day Having so much fun learning about this stuff from Meena Lakshat. Thank you, Meena. Uh, that is very sweet. Thank you. Meena, is that a telescope? <laughs> oh yeah, it? yeah, that's my telescope. Oh, oh. lovely, <laughs> superb. And you're pointing yeah. it at the door. So this is exactly the kind of thing that happens. <laughs> Where you have a telescope and you just point it at random things. My <laughs> telescope yeah. is kept in my, मतलब मेरे आगे है. So okay, yeah. so it's pointing it at you. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> Cool. He's the the center of the universe. Yeah. <laughs> All so right. Galaxy, yeah. evidence to support Copernican ideas. Right. Copernicus ideas. ideas. Like on, I still remember that date on January 9th, 1608, 1609, sorry, huh. 1609. He saw Jupiter for the first time. and he was the first one to see jupiter with a telescope so he saw ki ha there are four dots around jupiter that are going around jupiter not around the like not around earth hmm and jupiter itself is going around the sun so that something brings up yeah ki ha we are not at the center because jupiter ke moons are not yeah. revolving around like us they are involved they are revolving around jupiter. hanging out with other friends and you realize that oh wow <laughs> they have their own life <laughs> so even, I'm concerned about you now. <laughs> even when you are not meeting them, they are still going around doing their own stuff. Yeah, that's that's that's. That's. Fair. उसके बाद हाँ उसके बाद he saw Venus के phases just like Moon के phases he had Venus के phases too. Right. So that also was only explainable when you consider all the planets are going around the sun. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so he had a lot of evidence for that. कि हाँ Copernicus was correct. Yeah. Lot of evidence. Yeah. So he published many books around uh, around that time, and one of them was Dialogues con- Concerning Two New Sciences. That was the mm-hmm. name of the book. That was the name. Huh, that yeah. That was the name of his book. Wow. Uh, that that is, describes what a flex, that... dude. <laughs> <laughs> two new sciences. I mean, you guys are like a new branch. I mean, you guys are like a new branch. I mean, you guys are like a new branch. I mean, you guys are like a new branch. Professor approve of that. <laughs> I don't think he had one. Ah, uh, Galileo ki times. like father wanted to like he wanted ki ha Galileo bada okay doctor bana. Galileo is like two <laughs> new sciences. But oh, Galileo you, is this true? Huh? Yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah. He wanted ki Galileo should go into a medical field, but Galileo ka interest was in mathematics. Wow. So Wait. Galileo used to do this thing. उसका डायरी था ना वो ऐसे ही वुड वॉक अराउंड एंड ड्रॉ स्टफ एंड ही वुड लाइक ऑब्जर्व थिंग्स अराउंड हिम एंड मेक नोटेशंस एंड फॉर्मुलेट स्टफ लाइक दैट किड इन कुछ कुछ होता है वुड बी लाइक लुकिंग एट द स्टार्स सो दिस वाज जस्ट वन बुक लाइक ही पब्लिशड मेनी वर्क्स लाइक जो उसके प्लैनेट्स के ऑब्जर्वेशंस मून के ऑब्जर्वेशंस थे जुपिटर इवन सैटर्न एट सम पॉइंट और मून और वीनस एंड द सन ही सॉ लाइक सन के ऊपर गैलीलियो ने सन स्पॉट देखे थे लाइक दो ब्लैक डॉट दैट आर अबाउट द साइज ऑफ अर्थ सो दिस अनादर बुक वॉज नोन स्टारी मैसेजर दैट इज लाइक ओनली ट्वेंटी फाइव पेजेस लॉन्ग स्टारी मैसेजर द स्टारी मैसेजर मैसेजर तो गैलीलियो ने स्टारी मैसेजर में ही पब्लिश दिस ओन एस्ट्रोनॉमिकल वर्क दैट सपोर्टेड कपर्निकस का idea 
right he and dialogs con- concerning two new sciences he did entirely something else he did physics pura wow he's like an all rounder so, ha huh, exactly galileo was really an all rounder he like he did mathematics he did physics he did philosophy he even engineering. was an engineer ha huh? yeah he was an engineer he loved literature yeah Damn. he was an artist as well what a rock star dude like <laughs> that's insane His drawings of moon are the prettiest things you will ever see. Ha, so pretty. I mean, मेरे पास एक print पड़ा हुआ है, but I can not show you right now. Ha. Damn. Okay. So, we'll check it out. We'll check it out. Oh, Ankit Mishra is saying I've read it. It's awesome. Wow. Really. Yeah. That's also, cool. you can find his books online. Archive हाँ, वाले site पे मिल जाएंगे आराम से. Okay. Galileo's books. देख yeah. लेंगे. Yeah. Why okay. is that? Why is the Leaning Tower of Pisa drawn like it's a noodle? Oh. <laughs> I'm pretty. That isn't it. Isn't it like this? It's not like this. Right? It's like no, yeah, this. Yeah, it, it's, uh, a, it's a straight building like this, right? They've given it a curve. Yeah. Huh. Okay. मतलब actually curved नहीं है मतलब ऐसी थोड़ी straight है. It's not है. curved, right? It's a straight thing but slanting. It's huh. like uh, conforming to the current standards of beauty. So it's very curved for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. But anyway, so everybody is guys... super vibing with Galileo. When you say that, <laughs> <laughs> Papa ne bola doctor banne ko pad. Nee, mujhe poetry likhna hai. Mujhe tare ginn hai. Everybody is like, I am Galileo. <laughs> oh my God, I love it. Yeah, but <laughs> Galileo was really, really smart. He was. Yeah. He was on to on to something. Like when he wrote his dialogues concerning two new sciences, he was working on the physics of falling objects. so mm-hmm. at one time what happened ki he was attending a mass in a cathedral right in italy when he was in italy when he, he was pretty young at that time mm-hmm. so when he was attending that mass in a huge cathedral of pisa he saw that a bunch of candles are going around like a swing that was like a large pendulum in that very center mm-hmm. of that cathedral mm-hmm. so galileo ke alawa aur kisi ne notice nahi kiya ki that each swing of that candelabrum was getting shorter and shorter and each wing had the same time period right so wow. galileo ne notice kar liya ki ha you have that thing ki that swing swings are obviously getting shorter but time period is staying, staying the same he used it uh ha huh. used his pulse to measure calculate it huh. damn huh. <laughs> so when he came home he repeated the experiments so this is how he checked it this was the first Time when someone actually checked their observations multiple times. Yeah. So Galileo like used different stones of different masses and all of that. He suspended on a string and he like gave a push to a pendulum. And then using his own pulse as a time period, as a मतलब measure of time, he calculated कि हाँ each swing is having the same time period. In if he tries to publish that today, the the editor would ask him that you know how did you account for. You getting excited as the <laughs> the experiment goes, and then your pulse rate will obviously change. <laughs> exactly. Ah, <laughs> exactly. But approximately, ha, it was yeah. working out. Pulse was not the only thing he measured. He like kept the as a unit of time, as a measurement of time. Yeah. He used water bags. Mm. So, yeah. So like Galileo was really smart. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm not arguing <laughs> that at all. But so I mean, Galileo. Okay. Ha, so. Obviously, a falling pendulum is nothing. Is not really different from objects in a free fall, right? They are just deviated to move in a circular arc, suspended. They are given uh, like more path. Yeah. String ah. Same gravity. Same gravity. But there's yeah. just a string there. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Exactly. So he saw that different masses' ka time period was same for same like push for the str- str- for the pendulum ka string. Right. It did not. The time period was not depending on mass. It was independent of its weight. Ah, right. So something was going on here. Mm. Yeah. And so then like, he decided to pass, go for a climb. Yep. So Meenal ke paas ek absolutely brilliant video hai that was performed on the moon. Moon wala video hai. So oh, his experiment the, okay. hmm. was What? confirmed Apollo fifteen. I was like years later. जब उसने बोला था उसके बाद सो आई एम नॉट श्योर इफ चैट कैन सी इट सही बात 
No, no. Um, uh, yeah, you can play. You can play. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just reduce the volume a bit. Yeah. Ha, volume to aini rahe se. What is going on here? Exactly. There's a hammer and a feather. Ha. Oh, they're dropping both. Yes, exactly. They are dropping both. Oh. Wait, did they drop? Yeah. Uh, not yet. Abhi uh, karega. Ah. Uh. See, they fall at the same time. Damn. So Aristotle ne kya kaha tha ki? Wait, how does a fall... feather fall at the same time as a hammer? There is no air resistance. There is no air in on on the moon. Because air will resist. Oh right! Oh, that's brilliant, dude. That is yeah. super brilliant. Okay, got it. <coughs> got it. Got it. Got it. Cool. So Galileo ne same experience leaning tower of Pisa pe gaya tha. Hmm. So like I don't know if this is if this story is actually true or not, but uh, he did something like that. Yeah. yeah. So he saw ki ha objects are falling down at the same rate. Hmm. They are falling at the same time, irrespective of their weights. Yeah. In fact, it he. Was... the surface area that kind of affected exactly in fact aristotle ke time pe it was said ki heavy things will fast, okay. fall faster okay. lighter things and heavy things will come down first then lighter things and philosophers at that time said ki since straight line motion is not conceivable to human perception it is way too fast for us that's why we cannot confirm this but galileo ne a brilliant experiment kiya usne inclined planes le liye right and inclined planes pe usne weights rakh diye Ah. So a uh, inclined plane acts as a support yeah to s- slow down that motion and he can really see that speed is increasing as the object is coming down correct of course it's so such a simple thing that was one of ha uh, that was one of the brilliant observations of galileo ki he saw ki objects are coming down at the same time irrespective of their weight right and the second thing was ki as objects are coming down they are speeding up hmm for a particular second the speed is something else then for another second speed changes and it increases right and, and in it, an inclined plane you can exactly measure at what point at they reached at what level exactly the the amount of gravity that go that reduces due to inclined plane is dependent only on its slope yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah. that's how galileo did it oh galileo op guys that's awesome yep galileo <laughs> oh my god why is it playing again ha huh. yeah oh padam pam push Okay, Newton yeah, in the sure. house. All right. So there is one more thing. Wait, one more thing mm-hmm. uh, before we go to Isaac Newton. Mm-hmm. So in his book, Dialogues Concerning Two New Sciences, Galileo published his own relativity. Oh yeah. Famously known as Galilean relativity. Since Galileo, we have always known that yeah, motion is relative. Obviously, you cannot describe motion with respect to with without someone else yes. or seeing. Yeah. Like you always need an observer. You always need something to compare our motion to. Yeah. That's how you describe motion. Motion is relative. Okay. Like we have obviously observed this. Suppose there is someone standing on a platform, and a train is coming. Hmm. So as far as the person is concerned, they can say that the train is coming towards me. But as far as the driver of the train is concerned, they will say that the person that is. Person. Obviously, yeah. That's the whole so, idea. Ah, huh, that's the whole idea. But there is one more thing. Galileo said that. as far as we are at rest and at constant velocity inside a train you will not be able to distinguish if you are moving or not yeah hmm like suppose there are curtains down in a train and that train is moving at a constant velocity yeah. and someone is standing on a ground and both of the people in one one standing inside a train and one standing on the ground they have a ball in their hand okay so yeah. both of them will drop तो वो ऑब्वियसली उनके लेफ्ट फुट पे ही जाएगा देर इज नो सिंगल एक्सपेरिमेंट दैट यू कैन डिस्टिंग्विश कि हाँ कोई चल रहा है नहीं चल रहा एज फार एज यूर मूविंग विद कॉन्स्टेंट वेलॉसिटी ट्रेन Or how is that happening? <laughs> uh, and I think okay. I I read it somewhere that it's it's actually that the air inside is also getting carried forward. Getting yeah exactly. Yeah, so the fly doesn't have to fly the at the speed of the train. It's it's just being in that yeah. air. So yeah, it's, it's in that current. Yeah, correct. It just has to exactly. 
How do you know if you are growing or not in whatever field you are in or whatever personal growth you are charting? How do you know if you are growing or not unless you compare? Exactly. I mean, uh, people say you shouldn't compare. You have to not. consider that. Yeah, you need to compare, right? Otherwise, how do you know if you are growing? Yeah, okay. Uh, One uh, of my professors says that if you are getting more and more clueless as you go by, you are getting better because... <laughs> you have more questions than answers by the uh, way yeah but even in that we have to compare with the past you yeah, you need compare. to compare to something otherwise you yeah. just won't do. okay lakshmi saying your clothes won't fit i mean yeah that's <laughs> chickly but you're still comparing <laughs> in a way um, yeah exactly there is always something yeah. a frame of reference right yeah right because what do you know uh, when clothes fit or not what is a cloth fitting It's hmm. because you've tried a, cl- a a a shirt that fits that you know that something doesn't fit. So yeah, yeah. I mean, everything is relative. Hmm. Everything is relative. All right. So once you feel acceleration, then that symmetry breaks down. Then you can tell that how you are moving because you yeah. obviously yeah. feel that acceleration. Okay. So you feel that jerk. Yeah, you feel that a little bit of a jerk. Yeah. And you will be then able to tell that how I am moving. Yeah. And that person on the platform is. ट <laughs> 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 I love how they roast the shit out of you. <laughs> why is he looking so? Uh, why is he looking so angry, dude? Isaac Newton. Play who was that? He's looking like Jeff Bezos with hair. <laughs> What is that? I don't like that comparison. <laughs> I mean, I cannot unsee. Help! <laughs> I mean, he just looks super frustrated. Or, I mean, or, or, or he looks emo. I mean, he's looking like uh, you know how you 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 tell your friend, okay. Quick, click a picture of me, and then you look really far away. Yeah, like looking into the distance, all that. Yeah. <laughs> Isaac Newton is like the smartest dude in this story. Right. Yeah. Cool, cool. And people used to praise him a lot, uh-huh. and he uh-huh. replied to that in a very smart way. So I, I just put it in because it's very funny. I so... do not know what I may appear to the world, but to myself, I seem uh-huh. to have been only like a boy playing on the seashore, diverting myself in now and then, finding a smoother pebble or a prettier shell than ordinary. Well, the great ocean of truth lay all undiscovered before me. All right, now I know what Beautiful. to say next time somebody says I like your stream. <laughs> he just appear more smart with it. <laughs> exactly, and he was like so smart. Like you can compare this dude. Like you can compare Einstein to this dude. It would be like too much odd to compare Einstein with Newton. You have to compare. Newton with Einstein. Ah. So, Einstein. He ah. created a whole branch of physics, mathematics, which yeah. ah. Einstein yeah. knew you here. Yeah, like ah, exactly. <laughs> like some people create their own ideas because they don't get any help. Yeah. So that's how smart you have to be sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I just have to read out Oldie's comment. <laughs> <laughs> you have to. <laughs> <laughs> That Newton's caption is felt cute. Might pull it down later. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Woldy <laughs> needs to have a stand up session somewhere. Yeah, clearly. I mean, Woldy if you do if, if, with the with the agreement that you will not be roasting me, I would be happy to host you on the channel if you want to do a 5 minute stand up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, let's all right. go on. Let's go. Newton, on. um it's uh, so, this is something hmm. you don't need to focus on. So, Newton ka, I'll just cover this and then we'll go to what Akshar was saying. Yeah. The Apple incident. So he was the plague was going to start to happen. He was with his family, hmm. and his sister wrote this in her book about him. 
and she described his entire thought process and when he saw the apple fall what went through his head was why should the apple always descend perpendicularly to the ground mm. and then why should it not go sideways and upwards but constantly to the earth's center then the important statement in that is <clears throat> uh there must be a drawing power in matter and the sum of the drawing power in the matter of earth must be in the earth's center not in any side of the earth mm. therefore this apple falls perpendicularly or towards the center if matter thus draws mat- uh, matter it must be in proportion of its quantity therefore the apple draws the earth as mm. well as the earth draws the apple beautiful who thinks that yeah. why i think you <laughs> yeah I mean that he he had a very different way of looking at things. He uh, used to question everything. When he was nine years old, he created his own sundar. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So why? Uh, who does that? Like <laughs> he he, he, he was, leaves he was tuitions <laughs> one day late, and <laughs> somebody asked him <laughs> why. <laughs> like okay. So he was like more interested in mechanics than making friends. yeah he wanted to understand the world much more better than anyone else so that's how i isaac newton worked wow. isaac newton was i wonder all the people who related to galileo kitna newton ke relate kar rahe hai pata hota i don't think so. <laughs> so <laughs> isaac, <laughs> isaac newton when he was at cambridge he was a lunar he was totally a lunar yeah uh, so isaac so, newton did not have any friends he like his family may he only had his mother who was like in connection with him but later on he despised them because his mother remarried and left him with his uh, grandmother when he was a child hmm. so, so isaac this... newton really had a rough childhood right right so does trauma have a part in like how a person like isolates themselves and then ah. isaac newton ke case mein it's pretty evident ki ha he wanted to uh, stay away from people he yeah. he liked being alone I mean trauma definitely has a role in shaping the way you think. Yeah. But at no point can you say that okay because of trauma. That is yeah. Is right because uh, it doesn't work for everyone. So no, no, it doesn't mean that if you get a traumatic incident you're going to become a genius. It, oh, it yeah. kind of depends on how how you use that incident to shape you. I, so it's the stoic idea that how you react to things. Exactly. It's also yeah. about uh this is very interesting because even in galileo's case and in every creative person's case you could say that so many people looked at that church cathedral and saw the candle but nobody else thought of doing an experiment apples are fallen forever but nobody thought of this so it's not about the apple or the candle you know it's about uh, the uh, is is the stage set for that idea to come yeah and then when the idea comes it can come from whatever it doesn't have to be an apple it doesn't have to be the candle it, it that is not the relevant part the relevant part is setting the stage exactly you know so i remember yeah. in your creative wala jo tha na exactly. your sense of creativity you exactly. mentioned oh yeah you it. attended the workshop right so that's that's what we often uh, confuse about creativity we, we look at the object we look at the trigger we look at the muse and think mm-hmm. that oh that is what led to this whole creative cycle no like what led to that creative spark was all the work that was put in before in setting the stage for creativity so that's what i mean even no uh, newton was thinking about this problem and he was really close to it and that's what this apple triggered that final yeah hmm that's very interesting okay So yeah, uh, apple incident. So this happened in his farm, I guess, that in front of his house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. So he he people people say that he had apple fell fell on his head, but there is no evidence for that. Like he saw an apple fall. Yeah. And then he looked at the moon and asked if an apple falls, then does the moon also fall? Yeah. Right. I mean, even if an apple falls, what evidence could it leave? I mean, it's. Like somebody just said, it's not a coconut. It's <laughs> to leave an evidence. उसके सर में क्या था कुछ तो बड़ा सा बम स्टिक था. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he applied whatever he saw on, on apple, hmm. and he realized that everything is governed by this one law. 
उनको लगता था की अर्थ इज समिंग एल्स एंड हेवन आर समिंग एल्स हेवनली बॉडीज डू देयर ओन एंड वी आर हेयर स्टक ऑन अर्थ इन दिस मेस एंड वी आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम दैट वर्ल्ड राइट सो धीरे धीरे दी आइडिया डेवलप की हाँ टेरेस्ट्रियल फोर्सेज अलग हैं टेलेस्ट्रियल फोर्सेज अलग हैं दीज आर टू एंटायरली डिफरेंट थिंग्स आइजिक न्यूटन केम अलॉन्ग एंड सेट की इफ एन ही आस्क इन फैक्ट दैट क्वेश्चन की इफ एन एपल फॉल्स दैन डज द मून ऑल्सो फॉल ही लिटरली आस्क दीज वर्ल्ड सो आइजिक न्यूटन ने ब्रिलियंट थाट एक्सपेरिमेंट किया जिसमें ही इमेजिन अर्थ right and on the top of that our earth there was a cannon ball hmm. there was a huge cannon that released cannons yeah cannon balls so he said ki suppose kuch power se it releases a cannon and it goes at a distance and falls down hmm. then he said ki you need to fire a little faster then it goes farther and falls down oh. then you repeat the experiment and there comes a point when that cannon will never return to earth and it will just take a round trip and finally if you remove that ca- ca- uh, cannon that ball will continue its motion and finally it will reach an orbit damn dude so celestial objects or terrestrial objects as a connector the isaac newton right so that is the first idea of rocket launching yeah ha basically in a way damn okay all right Okay. Plus, at this moment, he was working on like laws of motion, universal law of gravitation. He already did that. Like he conceived his universal law of gravitation when he was twenty-three. Sure. So, <laughs> at about the age we were struggling to study what he meant by it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's fair. Okay. Hmm. And at the age of around twenty or twenty-one, he figured out that yeah, light is something peculiar. It is made of those seven colors. Oh yeah, the prism the experiment. The prism experiment, right? So, ne kya kya nahi kiya, yar? Isaac Newton did almost everything. So, He... uske grave pe ye likha hai. Itna bada cheez likha hai. Ha. <laughs> At uh, uske grave like Westminster Abbey mein hai na, alongside uh, Stephen Hawking and Charles Darwin. Charles Darwin or Stephen Hawking ke side mein, I guess. Mortals, I mortals it. rejoice that there was there has existed such a great ornament of the human race. Damn. He was he born has... on 25th December. Hmm. No, yep. I, he was born according to like different calendars, but yeah. everyone agrees on 25th Man. December. So Christmas is, मतलब is it for him also? Ah uh, no, <laughs> so the <ka> calendar. <laughs> okay. Like Julian calendar represents okay. some other dates, some calendar represents, but everyone agrees that 25th December was the date. Nice, nice, nice. It was a stormy night when Isaac Newton was born. Wow, I love how Akshat talks about this like he was there. Exactly. <laughs> Even when he was talking about Copernicus and everything, like, I still remember. <laughs> I still remember. What do you mean you still remember? I was thinking the same thing. I was in both places and like. Why? Cup says it. This is the beginning of time. Yeah, this that... is like man from Earth. <laughs> exactly. I remember this when I was studying a... with Newton. No. <laughs> So when Isaac Newton was pretty small, like he was just born, a few months later, his grandmother said that you were so small that you could fit inside a mug. <laughs> oh, wow! How do you get this information? <laughs> yeah, and he'll be like, "What? Isaac only told me this." <laughs> <laughs> Isaac only told me. Is that why you don't want to reveal the name of the university? Oh, damn! Oh. I'm getting it now. <laughs> Isaac Isaac Newton told me that he was pretty small when his Grandmother told him, and oh, all of that happened. Wow. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Uh, interesting. It's gonna oh. be a conspiracy that Akshat is a vampire. No, or something. Yeah. <laughs> I I am out of time ka dimension. I don't experience it at all. So That's I've been gosh. all. Uh, I've been existing. <laughs> uh. So one second, huh? Meena. Yeah. Uh, what is the, what is the timeline for this now? So how much? Because we haven't touched upon gravity yet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We are. Abhi uh, Newton ka khatam hoga. Thoda sa hi hai. Ek do slide, and then we go to Einstein. We talk about relativity. Okay. So then, uh, after Newton, we are going to break. Okay. 
so th- there'll okay. be a, there'll be a part two of this because okay, I, right. didn't, I didn't i didn't want to continue it beyond one and a half hours uh, because okay. einstein ka you know relative will take a lot of time yeah yeah take a lot of time yeah ironic because there is no such thing as time but yeah absolute time yeah that's <laughs> yeah. that is so interesting uh, that i had to describe that how isaac newton described absolute space and absolute time <laughs> <laughs> so yaha pe with newton there is like uh, space and time are considered to be different things hmm. Hmm. with einstein we see how they become one like yep. in a way and they become a fabric hmm. so i'll just give an idea and then we can continue with newton so hmm. abhi newton hoga einstein einstein will talk about black holes and a lot of other stuff with black holes hmm. that we missed in the first part and then we'll talk about the gravitational wave detectors that we use today and yeah. how they work oh that will literally blow every, everyone's yeah. mind like, oh, yeah. so exciting we cannot just stop talking about it yeah i have i read about that experiment uh, the one with gravitational waves but definitely we can try and get karan jani on the next ha ha are absolutely yeah absolutely so he is one of the scientists who work he, oh he really? has been recently last year discovered intermediate black holes colliding yeah oh out of space like it was something like 17 billion light years away yeah and that wow. was really a cool discovery oh let's let's yeah. do that for sure let's get him on yeah i'll i'll text him as well and uh, yeah it will be nice done 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 that'll be super cool cool that would be like he can literally describe ligo because he is a ligo scientist he he has been there for a long time brilliant sounds sounds super cool let's do okay. it okay so now at newton hmm. it's a very simple yaha se he tries to draw the elements that are in the entire story again yeah. yeah there is mass there is distance and there is some constant pulling and pushing of things yeah and there is then a um, force qualities and that is how we he came up with the gravi- law of gravitation ka jo formula hai uska hmm So we'll get into if you want we can do derivation next time because uh, i was saying this time pe time nahi milega next time hmm. bahut acche se ho jayega we need a bit of calculus for that but what do you mean we, we can... should do derivation like figure Derivi- out ha yeah, we can we'll like, do it on our own equations of gravity itself oh yeah. so, wow okay i'm terrible at it but okay it's going to be uh, so no, you will enjoy it it is yeah. literally so beautiful yeah that's what my math professor also told me and i'm not <laughs> falling for that twice please <laughs> oh. <laughs> right. when cool equal cool. i i trust you more so all right i believe that's you. very sweet thank you, uh, thank you. <laughs> all right so anyway so he, we'll what is it he hypothesized the inverse square law of universal gravitation who does ah, these things ha- isaac newton <laughs> isaac newton okay. all right cool 26 25 year old isaac newton did all of that in, in fact what happened is that ki people have been observing this odd messenger in the night sky hmm. they named that comets yeah right yeah the comets were pretty frequent in the night sky right. there was this one comet that appeared 76 after every 76 years so people weren't sure ki what was up with this comet who what were these messengers of the night sky people in the old days people said ki ha they bring omens bad omens they are bad messengers or you have to wish 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 upon a shooting star uh, you have to can wish upon them and all of that so yeah. everything was right there so uske baad kya hua there was this guy called edmund haley yeah of course edmund haley was the only friend of isaac newton oh damn <laughs> he was his best friend okay he was literally his best friend so what happened is that Edmund Halley, Robert Hooke, and there was one more guy. They were discussing this gravitation ka problem that obviously we now know that uh, uh, planets are going around the sun. Hmm. But what is governing that motion? Hmm. According to what mathematical law are they going around? So Isaac Newton ne apna work publish nahi kiya tha is time pe. He was hiding. He was hiding from everyone because Robert Hooke ne uh Isaac Newton pe false accusations lagaye oh. aur lagaye the ki he stole my work right. so that's why Isaac was hiding his work uh-huh. so Edmund Halley ne kya kiya he went to Isaac Newton he was hiding there for like years and he convinced Isaac Newton ki please tell me you are the only guy who can help me with this so Isaac Newton told him ki i worked out this problem 5 years ago <laughs> so i so Edmund Halley ne bola ki why are you not publishing this work please do that 
so he somehow got convinced so when edmund helly returned to his home he thought ki sure isaac newton se mujhe abhi tak koi message aaya nahi so he was like bluffing hmm. next day ek envelope aaya jisme there were the, he opened these pages and they were like opening pages of modern science there was like universal law of gravitation there was laws of motion there was optics so he finally published hmm. on his own money that book philosophical like what is that name principia uh, yeah. principia yeah principia mathematical principles of natural law to likh ke baith gaya tha matlab usne kuch kiya hai iske upar ha usne matlab he did not publish at all same thing happened with calculus there was this guy godfried leibniz ha huh. he was a mathematician in germany and isaac newton was in england at that time so jab godfried leibniz ne calculus publish kar diya tha apna so isaac newton ne bola ki this is my work बट ही डिट नो की आइजिक न्यूटन ने भी वर्कआउट कर लिया सो दे आर बोथ क्रेडिट इनफैक्ट आइजिक he was done with that he was done with calculus he was done with physics he later on moved on to alchemy yeah oh, i heard of this he became like super uh, like spiritual alchemist uh... uh, he was he was a religious scientist he yeah. was a religious. religious yeah that was the dark side of isaac newton dude i think that is that would be very interesting to read he like what uh, did he really believe in so he according to like his papers in 1936 it was revealed ki there were some papers 7500 papers only on religion written hand written by isaac newton wow. so in that he predicted that according to bible the world is going to end in 2061 in the battle of armageddon 2061 uh but now today we know ki ha isaac newton was wrong oh. so how do we know that. still there's still time exactly is isaac newton ke jo <laughs> isaac newton ke jo calculations they, they were not like they didn't have any foundation Uh, like they were based on okay you know matlab aise aise matlab but then 2012 bhi bolte the yaar wo to nahi hua so maybe exactly yeah. disappointed like 2000 yeah, yeah, I mean, whatever pointed with it <laughs> whatever theek hai so when admit heli convinced isaac newton ki you published this work and all of that then he principia was published and isaac newton launched into fame and he was like became the member of royal society royal he was ah uh, he was president of that society एंड उसके बाद एडमिंड हेली ने क्या किया ही पेड अटेंशन दैट कॉमेट सो ही वॉज द फर्स्ट वन टू अप्लाई आइजिक न्यूटन लॉस टू दैट कॉमेट एंड ही फिगर आउट दैट इट वॉज द सेम कॉमेंट दैट वॉज रिपीटिंग एवरी सेवेंटी सिक्स ईयर एंड दैट्स वाई एंड एंड इनफैक्ट ही प्रिडिक्टेड यूजिंग आइजिक न्यूटन के लॉज की द नेक्स्ट appearance of this comet is going to be in सेवेंटीन समथिंग लाइक दैट बट बिफोर दैट एडमिंड हेली डाइट सो that's why we call that helis comet right okay can we do this thing next stream where we can derive pura like comet ka uh, how it edmund heli did it ah sure sure you mean like, like calculated in in real time yeah ha, in real time ha i mean would it be too much of maths no not yeah. really not no, really not at all that's yeah. what my maths professor also said but okay. <laughs> so um i i teach 11 12th ke students ka astronomy kabhi kabhi okay and so i am used to like breaking it down to not numbers but objects and okay. then we can have yeah okay i think i think we can do that yeah yeah done let's do it right. let's revisit okay. helis comet yes yeah. helis comet it's like traveling back in time again <laughs> yes this is not just applicable to helis comet it was apl- it was like Isaac Newton को पता था कि हाँ this law is my law is applying to like new new moon and all of mm-hmm. that and every single planet so it appeared to be universal so that's why we call it laws yeah हाँ that's why we call it universal law of gravitation right but now we know it's not universal हाँ uh, not universal no. I'm guessing exactly yeah हाँ uh, exactly the way you You're... paused I thought <laughs> कुछ तो होगा वहाँ पे but I <laughs> So, because yeah. after that we need another giant in the story and that was einstein so and yeah, yeah. you will like literally love his way of thinking who einsteins ha uh, einstein yeah. oh i love it. Okay. i love his hair style i love everything about einstein uh. <laughs> okay i mean just But his newton story was 
Yeah. I mean, just a story, you know, being a post, he worked in the post office and all, yeah. the whole thing. Yeah. That's ah. It's a very fascinating story, Einstein. Ah. Einstein, like, he was a huge disappointment to his family, according to his father. His father wanted to become a doctor. No, his father wanted to become an engineer. Oh, man. This is true. <laughs> and this is true. This absolutely. Sharma ji ka beta principle has never changed, I think, throughout history. But, but you know what Einstein replied? He said, ki, no, I don't want to spend my creative energy on tinkering objects. Ah. So I want to go out and like work yeah. on the frontier yeah. of science. Yeah. I will become a professor and teach mathematics and physics to work with giants in the field and all of that. This is a so he, ha. How much time do we have? Uh, how many? Uh, Everybody in the chat, जिसके भी पापा मम्मी ने तुमको बोला कि डॉक्टर इंजीनियर बनो देख लो क्या करना है आजकल तो सो नाउ आई हैव कम टू दिस फीलिंग दैट देर इज क्रिएटिविटी इन एवरी एवरी फील्ड यू हैव टू नॉट टेक अप मेडिसिन और नॉट टेक अप इंजीनियरिंग टू बी क्रिएटिव यू कैन बी क्रिएटिव इन मेडिसिन यू कैन बी क्रिएटिव एवरी बिकॉज नाउ देर इज It, you now you know that every field has unknown variables so maybe you could be the one to go and create stuff from that okay. yeah so just uh, keep looking around just keep looking around exactly i think that we can we will stop here uh, okay right because i also need to kind of uh, go on uh, leave now so what we will do right. is we can uh, have a part 2 of this or we we'll just call it part 5 of astrophysics yeah and we oh, sure. continue with relativity and uh, what we should also do is uh, you you were saying that you might call a friend yeah yeah mm. let's He's see in, like actual astrophysicist as so astrophysicist yeah uh, brilliant oh god nobel prize expert uh, even Ligo. better brilliant let's <laughs> let us do that let's see if that can happen that'll be yeah. super interesting everybody in the chat thank you so much for joining in i hope that you guys had fun I know that this is uh so I keep thinking of how these kind of streams are I was not sure how these kind of streams will be received you know how people will like it because this is not your typical super entertaining uh, yeah. gaming and all of that but I really enjoy it I love this conversation thank you so much to both me and Akshat thank uh, you for thank you sir thank you yeah and uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed it as well if you did like the stream make sure that you're subscribed to the channel make sure that you share the stream with all your friends who like this sort of thing and uh, i'll see you all soon next up a quick update uh, i might stream tomorrow day after tomorrow uh, on back to basics so that's just going to be me we'll just catch up with some questions and we'll have fun on monday we are going to be doing a very special stream on how therapy works Okay. Mm, this is going to be nice. Yeah, so I'm going to have a psychologist. I, I'll call Chaturupa. She's been on before. Uh, we've talked about philosophy before, but uh, this time we're going to talk about how therapy works. We will go into the neuroscience and the whole thing. So it's going to be fun. Stay tuned for that, and I'm going to see you all soon. Meenal, Akshat, thank you. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Yes, uh, it's uh, an absolute honor. <laughs> hang in there. I'm just going to end the stream. Everybody in the chat I'll see you soon. Bye, Bye guys, take care. Bye. Bye.